Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. Section 2.3 is all about polynomial and synthetic division. So here in part one, we've only got one objective. We're gonna focus on using long division to divide some polynomials. Long division with polynomials is gonna be really helpful, especially when we're trying to like factor out some of these big, long, complicated polynomials to simplify them down or even solve them. So with this one, what I wanna do first is I wanna go ahead and find a zero using our calculator for this function 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus 16x minus 4. So I've already got this function typed into my y equals screen. You might want to pause the video and type that in. If we graph it out, remember a 0 is also known as an x-intercept. So if we take a look at our graph, there's a couple places where our graph touches the x-axis. I'm going to focus on this one right here it looks like it crosses at a nice integer value. And to me, it looks like that's an x value of two. Since x equals two is a zero of this function, we can kind of work backwards a little bit to figure out that x minus two would have to be a factor. Because if we were to take this and set it equal to zero, it would give us x equals two. So what I wanna do is I wanna use this x minus two factor to help us break this polynomial down into something a little bit easier to work with. Now remember, factoring is just like division. So that's where this whole long division thing comes into play. We're gonna do our division to factor out this polynomial. Now we're gonna set it up exactly like long division from like third or fourth grade. So we put our division symbol, we're gonna take this big long polynomial and that's gonna go underneath that division symbol, so 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus 16x minus 4. And now outside of our division symbol, we're going to put this thing that we're factoring out. Okay, We're factoring out an x minus 2. So I'm going to put that entire thing out in front here. And now we're going to start doing our long division stuff. So what I want to focus on with the long division is I first want to look at this 6x cubed and our x out in front. And we have to think to ourselves, what happens if we take this 6x cubed and divide it by x? Well, one of those x's on top would cancel out with that x on bottom, and we'd be left with 6x squared. So that's what I'm gonna put down here. And I like to line these up in columns, so like an x cubed column, an x squared column, a plain x column, and then our constant on the end. Since this is a 6x squared, I'm gonna put that above our x squared stuff. So 6x squared. And now what we need to do is we need to take this 6x squared times this x minus two that we have out here. So if we take 6x squared times x, we're gonna get 6x cubed. If we take 6x squared times negative two, we're gonna get minus 12x squared. And now what we wanna do is we wanna subtract this stuff from this big long polynomial function that we have up at the top. Now the nice thing about this is these first two terms are gonna cancel out, 6x cubed minus 6x cubed, that just cancels. If we take negative 19x squared and subtract negative 12x squared, well this is a double negative, so that's just like adding this 12x squared. So we end up with negative 7x squared, and then I'm just gonna carry down the rest of our stuff. So the 16x and the minus four. And then we're gonna start all over again. So now we're gonna focus on our negative seven x squared and this x. So what happens if we take negative seven x squared divided by x? Well, one of those x's on top cancels with the x on bottom, so we get negative seven x. Now if we take that negative seven x times this x minus two, well, negative seven x times x gives us negative seven x squared. And if we take negative seven x times negative two, we get plus 14x, and then just like we did up above, we're gonna subtract. So negative 7x minus negative 7x, that stuff's gonna cancel out. If we take negative 16x minus 14x, we're gonna get 2x and then carry the rest down, so minus four. Now we're almost done, we only have one more thing to look at. We have to take this 2x and focus on our x. Well, 2x divided by x, those x's cancel and we just have a positive two left over. So now we're gonna have to run our subtraction to simplify this down. So two times x is two x, and two times negative two is negative four. And then just like we were doing up above, we're gonna subtract. So two x minus two x, that cancels out. 
negative 4 minus negative 4, that cancels out, so we've just got a 0 left over at the end. So here's what all this is saying. If we take this original polynomial function, our 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus 16x minus 4, and we factor out, we divide out this x minus 2, we're going to be left with this 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 polynomial. So since both of these things are factors of that big, long, complicated polynomial function, we could write it out as x minus 2 times 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. And then like if we were trying to solve this thing, this is going to be so much easier because now we've got a linear function that we could set equal to zero and solve. We've also got this quadratic function that we could set equal to zero and solve. And if we wanted to solve that one, we could try to factor it out or we could just run our quadratic formula since it is a quadratic function. Now with that last example, we ended up with a zero at the very end. And that's because that thing that we started with was a factor of our big long polynomial function. But that's not always going to be the case. Sometimes we're going to be left with a remainder at the end, which is going to tell us that the thing we're looking at isn't actually a factor of our polynomial function that we started with. So if we take a look at this one, we've got x squared plus 3x plus 5, and we're going to divide it by x plus 1. So we're going to run through it just like we did on the last one. I'm going to focus on this x squared first and the x. Well, if we take x squared divided by x, uh, we're left with just x. So if we multiply x times x squared, we get x squared. x times 1 is plus 1x, and we're going to subtract all that stuff. So x squared minus x, that cancels out. 3x minus 1x is 2x, and carry down the plus 5. Now if we look at the 2x and our x, well, 2x divided by x is just 2, so plus 2 up at the top. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 1 is a positive 2, and subtract like we've been doing. So take 2x minus 2x, that cancels. 5 minus 2 is 3. Like I said earlier, since we don't get a zero at the very end, that automatically tells us that this x plus one thing isn't actually a factor of x squared plus three x plus five. All right, next example, we're gonna take x cubed minus one and we're gonna divide it by x minus one. Now, before we actually start this division, there's a little bit of an issue with this x cubed minus one. And the problem is that it's missing some things. It doesn't have an x squared term. It doesn't have an x to the first power term. So when we write this stuff out underneath our division symbol, we need to fill in those places with zero placeholders. So we've got zero x squared since there's none of them in our function. And we've also got zero x's since there's nothing up there. Okay, we need to remember to fill in those zeros because it's going to make the division and the subtraction so much easier on us. So now this thing we're dividing by is x minus 1. And now we treat it just like we've been doing. Take this x cubed divided by the x. Well, one of those x's is going to cancel, so we get an x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared. And then, like we've been doing, we have to subtract. So x cubed minus x cancels. 0 minus negative x becomes a positive x squared. And then carry down the rest of our stuff. So plus 0x and minus 1. Now if we take x squared divided by x, we're going to get just x, so plus x up here. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x, and subtract again. So x squared minus x cancels, and 0x minus negative x. We're left with just a plain x, and then carry the rest down, so minus 1. Okay, now we're going to finish this thing off. So we've got to look at x divided by x. Well, x divided by x is just 1. So we've got a plus 1 on the end. 1 times x is x. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And then, just like we've been doing, subtract. So x minus x cancels. Negative 1 minus negative 1 also cancels. So we've got a 0 left over at the end. So that would tell us that this x minus 1 is, in fact, a factor of x cubed minus 1, since it divides evenly. All right, last example. We're going to take this big, long polynomial function, and we're going to divide it by x squared plus 2x minus 3. So I've already got my division set up. I'm just going to jump right in. I'm looking at this 2x to the fourth and the x squared. Well, 2x to the fourth divided by x squared. 
Um, two of those x's are going to cancel on top, so we've got 2x squared. So if we take 2x squared times x squared, we get 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times 2x gives us plus 4x cubed. And 2x squared times negative 3 gives us negative 6x squared. And then, just like we've been doing all along, subtract. So let's see, 2x to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth cancels. 4x cubed minus 4x cubed cancels. And negative 5x squared minus negative 6x squared leaves us with x squared and carry everything else down. So plus 3x minus 2. Um, now I guess we're looking at an x squared and an x squared. Well, x squared divided by x squared is just 1, so we get a plus 1 on the end. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 2x is 2x. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So subtract these things. x squared minus x squared cancels. 3x minus 2x is just 1x. And negative 2 minus negative 3 is plus 1. Okay, now this one did not divide evenly, so that should tell us right away that x squared plus 2x minus 3 is not a factor of this big long polynomial function. That's it as far as this video goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you fill out the Google form linked in the description down below.